This is the American Suites here in North Branch, Minnesota, where I stayed last night. And uh, it was all right. It was okay. Now over there is Perkins. We're about to head out, headed to Duluth. And for the first time in my life, I'm going, I'm seeing one of the great lakes right in front of me. I'm almost driving right off into it. Lake Superior. There's a fog on it this morning too. Cody Street. Fog on Lake Superior. Very nice. Wow. There's the uh, the air the aerial lift bridge. There's several bridges over there, as a matter of fact. I'm not going to be able to get much at this point. I'm going to come back up here. We're going to cut across and run into Wisconsin. Maybe have breakfast there real quick. But uh, this is really, really really nice. So, out over there you can see part of what's going in here, but there is Lake Superior right up there. Lake Superior. Two miles, two drinks at 253. Lake Superior Zoo. Wow. This just come up and it's almost, uh, it's, it's, it's about like uh, when I saw the Grand Canyon or when I saw uh, Mount St. Helens for the first time. Just very exotic and awesome. So anyway. All right. Hold on. We'll be back. We are in the town of Superior, Wisconsin. There was no uh, there was no state line sign, so I had to take uh, one of the university here. Simple little town, crumbling roads. Okay, roads looking absolutely terrible. Once you get off the main beaten path up there. If I'm at the corner of Catlin Avenue, you see there's an A&W there. There's a Burger King in front of me. There's a road here. There's a couple of Catholic churches on this road. Uh, and of course, you know, you got the students. They got their thing, but we'll move in here. back over into Duluth momentarily. It's about 55 degrees out here. Look at the sky. You got overcast up there. So anyway, stopped here. Like I said, there was no state line sign. So didn't get one for Michigan. I'm on Hammond Avenue in Superior, Wisconsin. And I'm uh, Looking at a piece of Americana here, you've got these, uh, you got people here with American flags flying, as you can see on the front doorstep, just good old 1940s, post-World War II, housing styles and everything. We're going to hop on Highway 2 here and head back into Duluth if I don't really freak myself out. Okay. We're at the corner of Hammond and Belknap, I think, is the road, which is also two. Yeah, Belknap is two. All right. There's a church. Go, dude. Go. You've got a Wisconsin plate. Go. All right. There's a Methodist church. That says one bell. There's the Hardee's that I just ate at a few moments ago there on the left. 
and uh, seeing a lot of this. Okay, now we have a detour that we have to take to get back across Lake Superior. Detour west on to Ogden Avenue. Now I'm going to put this away for the time being. Okay, because I'll need both hands on the wheel to go over the lake. All right. I don't know if I'll get to take... Uh, they had a sign there. There's a couple of dental hygienist practices here. A couple of dental practices. Just got old school. This is Superior, Wisconsin. I'm headed toward two here. And uh, they got a town center there, and it's got a big thing that says Superior. Living up to our name, you know, which is kind of cool. We're on North 12th Street now. A lot of law firms up here, too. Must be a lot of litigation with those dentists. <laughs> Not real sure how I'm going to get back across the lake, but let's just say it could be quite interesting. Going into Duluth. All right. Up ahead there, in the, in the background, you can see some of the old industry we have here. All right. Now I'm going to have to hang this up for a bit. Okay. Bye-bye. We're in Duluth. Duluth, Minnesota. We're at the Duluth Cinema. Ultra screen. In front of you is the Western Bank, the U.S. Bank. There's Maurice's. Moving around to the side here. We've got the William A. Irvin. Which is a boat here in the port. It's actually quite cold here this morning. I should say cool. It's not really even cold for here. There's a big lake right nearby. Okay. A couple of water towers up there. Along. And right over there is the famous, very famous, aerial lift bridge that's over a hundred years old now. They've designed here in Duluth. They raise it for the ships to go through. And then they lower it. And yes, you can drive across it. 